Hey guys, the Pirate RC here, back again, and I want to do another software video on the new Aurora 5 Lite. Uh, for those that don't know, the same software will apply for your Aurora 8 and the new uh, professional version of this software also. So the picture on board here is of the Aurora 8, so do not let that confuse you, but... When you first uh, hook it up to your unit, I just got my brand new Aurora 5, my second one in the mail. You'll uh, plug in the USB cable, plug it into the unit, and you'll see um, red, blue, green flashing light. So you'll know you're connected. Hit the connect button, you can go up to new config file. Right here at the very top, you can name it. I'm just going to put second, so I know this is my second unit and I'm just going to put 3D because I plan on putting this one in a 3D foamy airplane. <clears throat> they told me to leave the airframe part custom. You've got the gains rates and expo right here. That will be on your third column. Right here is defaulted to the flight test sport but you can pick uh, flight test 3D or speed and uh I think I'm going to pick 3D since I'm going to put in a 3D plane. Servo type here, you'd pick analog or digital. I'm running analog, so that's what I'll pick. Your throttle setup, single, twin, or twin with differential. Now, this is what I have if you've been watching any of my videos on my new homemade twin. That's the one I picked. But for this one, I'm going to pick single. Um, I'm going to try doing the level assist on this one, so I check mark this. Uh, wing type, you just go down right here. I'm hoping you guys see this. Um, my plane will have two ailerons, so that will be right here. But as you can see, you have very, very many choices. Uh, one aileron, one flap, one aileron, two flaps, two ailerons, one flap, two ailerons, two flaps, uh, elevons, ailerons. Uh, four ailerons, six ailerons, or no ailerons. So on this one, we're going to pick two ailerons. Then you go over here to this one, tail type. And um, this plane will have one elevator rudder and servo, one rudder servo. So that's the one I picked. But again, as you can see, you've got very many choices. Um, all the way from one, no elevator, two elevators, two and two. So, yeah, so we got one and one. Now, up here in this corner, hope you can see this. At the very top, it's got transmitter type. I'm flying spectrum, so I'll pick that. <clears throat> Receiver type, you've got spectrum remote, spectrum SRXL, PPM, and auto detect. On this one, I actually picked up one of the new uh, spectrum. Um, what do you call it? It's a uh, SRXL serial telemetry. Uh, I know it's dark in here. <clears throat> Best way to see my screen. But anyway, I picked one of them up. So I'm going to pick that one. Uh, port, it, it only, I guess it defaults when you pick the above. It's saying port B. So I'm going to pick that. Now as soon as I clicked on that, you saw all of these down here at the bottom filled up. It's telling you how to set it up. S1 on your port will be throttle. S2 will be Elron left. 3 will be right Elron. 4 will be your elevator. And 5 will be your rudder. Now you want to make sure you set this up the way it shows you. Otherwise you'll have issues. Now <clears throat> up here you can change your orientation. I did a short video on this a couple days ago. But you can change your orientation of your unit. I doubt that I'm going to have mine facing straight up <coughs> excuse me, on this other plane because it's going to be a little flat plate foamy. So we need to change the direction. So here you click it and this screen pops up. I'm going to set mine where I'm going to have the unit most likely on my left side of my plane. And, yeah, I wish they would 
rotate the whole plane so you can see it. But my ports are going to be down. <clears throat> this, you're taking this unit and flipping it straight up. So S1 will be on your bottom. Um, I know they're showing the original unit, not the S5 that we have, but it doesn't matter. As you see here, it's slid that way, ports here, but when it rotates down, you can tell the servo leads in S1, and so it'll be on the bottom. So you just have to remember that. Click finish when you're done. It will leave it up there. It shows nose and your wing. <clears throat> and you can click on, I got to go widescreen to do this, but you can click on finish. After you finish that, it's going to pop up and ask you to save it on your computer. You can save it as anything you would like. I'm going to go with, um, I'm just going to do away with uh, this first part, I think, and just have it a second 3D config file. Actually, you can name it longer on here than you can on the program, so I'm going to name it second unit um, 3D profile. And hit save. Now that's all saved in there. It'll flash and right here it'll show you on the screen what you got. It's showing you here. You got two L rhymes, elevator rudder, and it's showing you about your uh, dual rates. It's turned on auto detect. Right now it's off. Uh, quick twin, quick trim is turned on. And uh, it shows the unit the way it's going to be. So you've got three flight modes. You're going to use the grid switch. Now you can go in here and change this if you wanted to. But the type spectrum. So that's all your first page. And uh, you've got all more stuff up here. You can do your fail safe, your mixing, your assist. Control modes, flight modes, and your server ports. I'll get more into these in another video. But for now, that's your basic setup. You should be able to take it now, bind it to your radio. Remember to hold down the bind switch as you're plugging in the radio. You might have to get a friend to help you if you don't have a way to power up the unit without a just a regular LiPo. And, um, but yeah. So look for another video on more details. I am going to put this in a 3D foamy. And uh, I am planning on to set up a safe type mode to see if I can get it to work. So yeah. Until the next video, happy flying everybody. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and we'll catch you on the next one.